When I was a child, I created a superhero called Snooker Table Man. <laughs> he had three key skills and one mortal enemy. Lee, <laughs> let's start with the obvious. Who's the mortal enemy of Snooker Table Man? Vampire Ray. No, it was no, based no. loosely around Ray Reardon. Ray Reardon? <laughs> what were his three skills, Richard? A lot of his skills didn't have an awful lot to do with snooker, I'll be honest with you. He took, he took on the form of a snooker table, because then he could get... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just one question to clarify, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> right, snooker table man, yes. was, he would take on the form of a snooker table in the same way that the TARDIS would take on the form of a phone box, it's not crazy, and he would be able to go into the houses of very rich and successful and famous people. But it's not like the TARDIS, the TARDIS is, is the vehicle that the superhero, for want of a better word, travels round in. Yeah. If you're snooker table man yeah. and there's a child trapped in a, a building, they go, what are we going to do? Don't worry, it's snooker table man. <laughs> and then you turn into a snooker table and you go, now what? I go, that's all I can do. So what, what, what was his purpose? What did he do? His purpose was to go into the houses of very rich people who were trying to, uh, for various reasons, uh, take over the world. And he would... <laughs> firstly, he would report back on them, because he had, he had wireless transistors in the pockets. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he would... <laughs> so he would go into the houses of very, very rich Ad people... Right, admit, oh. admit, admit that is a good disguise if you want to get into... No, it's a terrible it's disguise. Uh... It's a terrible disguise unless what? the person in question has ordered a snooker table. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they'll go, it's the worst disguise in the world, they'll go, the hell did that come from? Do <laughs> you think any rich person, if they were given a delivery of a snooker table, wouldn't go, oh, lovely, a snooker yes, table? Yes, they yeah. would. But you didn't say you were given delivery, you said you suddenly appeared in an empty room. No, I didn't, so, what do you mean, how, what, transport So myself? you knock on the door and you go, hello, I'm You're... here to, I'm here to give you a snooker, no, snooker you table. Are, you are, <laughs> That was it. That was your... Now you're making it sound ridiculous. <laughs> How did he move around? He didn't move around, that's the beauty of it. People moved around he in, that's snooker tables. <laughs> you know what? I won't tell the rest of the story if you're gonna mock me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are the other powers you haven't told us about? Yeah, yeah. well, I've given you the two. Mm. The, the, and the third what one was the was second one? Transistors and Parker. The transistors, yeah, the, the ability to transmit information. Who two? And it, two... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Who do you think, if we're trying to save the world, who, who do you think he's transmitting to? Steve First, Davis. Firstly, me. <laughs> what was your third power, then? The third power was exploding balls. <laughs> and how would he and use his exploding balls? In what situation would he want his balls to explode? <laughs> Finally, a sensible question. <laughs> if I've received enough information, that the person whose home this snooker table is in is up to no good, is up to nefarious uh, activities. Yes, yes. OK? The next time they're playing a game of snooker, I can then make those balls explode at will. If you were playing this game in Wales, you wouldn't call it snooker. 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 Yeah, snooker. Because we don't, we don't like the oo sound. It's the same with tooth. We'd say tooth. Yeah, and likewise, we don't like the, um, the Welsh. <laughs> Lee, what are you thinking? I think it's a big fat lie. You think it's a lie? I mean, I think he's a he's a large man. He's like a snooker table. I'm not 12 yeah. foot by 6 foot, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to say that that was a lie. You think it's a lie? OK, Richard, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was a lie. <laughs> when I was a child, I created a superhero called Snooker Table Man. He had three key skills and one mortal enemy. Lee, <laughs> let's start with the obvious. Who's the mortal enemy of Snooker Table Man? Vampire Ray. No, it was no, based no. loosely around Ray Reardon. Ray Reardon? <laughs> what were his three skills, Richard? 